Welcome to Jerry Scale Models. I'm Jason, your host, and I do models. We are looking at our Logic series. We're going to jump around a little bit here, and we're going to look at the 74 LS74 because I need to use it to display a different type of chip later. So we're going to look at this. It's a dual D-type positive edge triggered flip-flop with a preset and clear. The preset and clear ain't asynchronous, so as soon as you press it, it clears it. It does not need a, set, a clock signal. So, and then you have, basically you have this side is one and this side is two. Here's your plus five volts. Here's your, here's your ground right here. That's your ground. I'm gonna make these a little quicker on this. Let us go to the main video and we'll put our drawing pad up. No main camera, there we go. And there we go, we got it in the corner and we'll take a look at what we have. Now to get my clock circuit, I am using my um, clock board up here. This is what I build on this test board. It's got a clock circuit, a pulsing clock circuit, so a 555 five, five timer and A stable, and then a mono stable, and then I have a counter up here, program counter, 4-bit counter. So it's just don't disregard that and disregard the seven segment display just know that I'm getting a clock signal from this black button up here so I'm gonna come in here to the this section that we're working on here zoom out back out just a little bit okay so I have two D flip-flops here now with these two I have one set up in the traditional D flip-flop style I have my data in on the green and then I have a reset and preset button and then um, to put the data in I'll just clock the pulse up here to show you how that works but up here is another um, 74 LS74 chip and it is hooked up through a RC uh, circuit resistor and a capacitor to a button and it turns this LED into a toggle switch so that's what I need for the next chip I'm doing up here. I needed a way to toggle, so this is a way to toggle. So let's take a look at it. I am going to be using my Siglet SPD3303. You can help support me um, on GoFundMe or Patreon to be able to purchase this equipment permanently. It's on loan to me. So I'm gonna put my nine volts, 130 milliamps into my board. I'm going to turn my board on and we have it in the reset position so this is Q right here and this is Q naught so there now I can set it with the set and I can clear it with the clear they are active low so currently they're being pulled high right now and then when you press the button it pulls them low so we got a set and clear so you can use those functions for things and then I have the data on the green button you can see as the green light lights so if I hold down the data and I pulse the clock it inputs the data and then I can press data all I want but if I pulse the clock again why data is not high it goes to it goes to low so data was low so it inputs a low so this makes a nice little storage register with the preset and clears now on this toggle switch I'll show you how it works so you press the button the light comes on press the button light goes off so on off on off so it's pretty cool um, I basically tied the preset and clear high and then I tied the uh, Q not output back to the data D and then I put that RC circuit with the switch into uh, the clock circuit so it gives me a a little thing and it is a point I believe it's a 0.47 microfarad capacitor electrolytic and a uh, 10k ohm resistor so here is the circuit here so right there if you want to take a shot of it it's not the best color and it is in pencil um, these are Schmidt buffering devices you don't need these I did not build this system right here, but if you do this um, R2C2 system to clear, 
when you turn the system on it will start in the off position so this is just to assure that it, when it starts up it's in the off position but um, in your R2 and C2 should be uh, greater than your R1 and C2 by magnitude of 10 but I didn't need that it just it works it's just a simple toggle so and you know when I turn it off and I turn it back on it say it's on that time and toggle it off if I do it again it's on so it's off that time so that is how a toggle slip switch works with that circuit that's going to do it for this video you can visit me on social media you can also support me on patreon thank you so much and have a fantastic